Anne Betterall and this is Professional in the Picture with the Active Education Company. So what does education mean to me? I think it is, it's that process of learning and it could be education of anything. Um, so obviously within um, a younger age group, you think about educating them in school um, and that can be across a wide variety of subjects. But um, I know that you are continually to le continuously learning stuff throughout your life. I think every day is a school day. Um, so yeah, education is the process of learning. I absolutely love school. I was probably one of the lucky ones that just enjoyed being with my friends. Um, I actually enjoy learning. I I like the challenge of not knowing what something is and kind of going away and either looking it up or obviously working within school with your friends to work out what it was. Um, my nemesis was definitely English. Um, I, I just didn't, I, I like black and white, so I like an answer. Um, so my favorite subjects were always kind of maths and the science subjects because there is a, a, a correct answer. Um, whereas I found English a lot harder. So my first memories of PE in school are at my primary school. Um, I we had a sports hall and I, I remember the climbing frame being out and having a rope and I just loved climbing it we used to have climbing races um, and just the fun element being out of the classroom being able I was very energetic very hyperactive so actually being able to use that energy up uh, away from the classroom so fun and being with your friends are kind of the first memories of PA. So when I was younger, I think my inspiration within gymnastics did come from my coach. Um, I moved to a coach when I was just 12 years old in Liverpool and just the passion and the drive that she had for gymnastics, I, I shared that. I A lot of people asked me, why did you continue gymnastics for so long? And it, it was just because I loved, I loved what I did. I just loved flipping around and um, my coach had that same passion, that same drive. So gymnastics was initially introduced to me through my dad's friend. Um, I tried lots of other sports first. So my parents and my brother both played hockey. Um, so I kind of grew up with a hockey stick in my hand and was always down at the local club. Um, and then I tried ballet, I tried swimming, uh, tried horse riding. Um, but my dad's friend, um, his daughters did gymnastics. I was always upside down at home. I was always climbing on stuff. Um, so he kind of said to my dad, why don't you bring her along to gymnastics? And yeah, ever since my first competition, I've never looked back. So when I was training for the Olympic Games, I would be training roughly 30 hours a week. And that was obviously 30 hours within the gym. Um, one of the most common questions I get asked is what did your training entail? And it was basically just in the gymnastics gym. Um, there was very little done outside of the gymnastics gym. So there was obviously the warm up the strength and conditioning part, making sure your body was strong enough. And then it was a case of just repetition on the pieces of apparatus. So if I was doing, for example, a, a double session, I would do three hours in the morning and that would consist of three or four of the apparatus. Then I would have a, a two to three hour break, get some lunch, have physio, have a bit of chill time, um, catch up with friends. And then I would have another session in the evening, two to three hours. And usually I would repeat bars and beam um, again. Um, so yeah, that was kind of my typical day, but I look back on it. Yes, it was hard. Would I change it? Absolutely not. I just, I loved that lifestyle of being a gymnast. London 2012 
has the most incredible memories for myself. Um, I was the first female to win that individual medal um, with the bronze on bars. And do you know what, four years earlier, I'd gone to Beijing with the hope of winning a medal. I finished fourth and yes, it's an amazing result, but it wasn't the result I wanted and I was devastated. So to four years later to be stood on a podium in front of a home crowd, um, yeah, it just made everything worthwhile all of those hard days training all the ups and downs to be able to stand on that podium and i just remember the flags um during the national anthem um being raised and kind of as the the great britain flag was getting raised you could just see the olympic rings popping out from underneath it and yeah it still kind of gives you goosebumps now it's it's kind of a blur, blur looking back at it because um i watched the routine now and when I watch it, I think, gosh, that could have gone wrong. Well, that could have gone wrong rather than just enjoying the performance. And I, I know what the result is. I know that it ended up with a bronze, but I, I still get nervous watching it now because I know how risky the routine was and how things could have gone completely different. My proudest achievement within gymnastics definitely has to be that London Olympic medal. Um, but I also recognise the fact that without all of the other medals before that, so triple world champion, six time European champion, that London medal would have been very difficult to achieve. So it's definitely my proudest, but it's not necessarily just the only medal that I treasure because uh, every result that I gained allowed me to achieve that, that medal in London. Why did I set up Better Gymnastics is a very good question. The main reason was gymnastics have given me so much throughout my career and not just about how to learn how to learn to do a flip or how to win an Olympic medal. It was it was all the other things that I gained from doing gymnastics. So um kind of the teamwork, the resilience, the perseverance, the friends that I've made, the fun that I had along the way. And Steve Parry, who was an Olympian in 2004 and won an Olympic bronze in swimming, he'd set up something similar with swimming. Um, and before I retired, he kind of spoke to me and said, look, would you be interested in setting something up with gymnastics? And I love working with kids. Um, I just, the, the passion, the enthusiasm, the fun that you can have with them. So in my head, I'm thinking, I love working with children. I love gymnastics. What an amazing career to be able to continue doing both the things I love. Um, so yeah, I started it back in 2010. Um, never dreamt that it could be as big as what it is. Um, and it, it, it's just incredible that every single day we have got more and more children able to gain access to having a go at gymnastics, whether that is through the after school programme or whether that's through our national curriculum programme. And um, I just want kids to have a go at it. Do you know what? They may love it, they may hate it, but unless they get the opportunity to try it, they will never know. Just like myself, I tried ballet, I tried swimming, I tried horse riding. And do you know what? They weren't for me, um, but gymnastics was. And if I can provide that opportunity for them to at least be exposed to it, then that's my job done. The best piece of advice I can give to a teacher promoting gymnastics is for the children to have fun. If they enjoy what they're doing, then they're more likely to come back to it. So um, don't, especially for the teachers, don't think what you see on TV is what you have to teach the children. I think there's a huge kind of stigma around it. Parents, uh, teachers are worried about teaching gymnastics. Uh, in schools, but it is basic fundamental movement, providing those opportunity for the children to understand what the basic fundamental movements are, um, giving that opportunity in class, providing an after school class, and then do you know what, if the kids love it, creating that pathway for them to take it outside of school time. I think gymnastics is really important for the PE curriculum. It ticks so many boxes for the national curriculum. Obviously it doesn't tick attacking and defending, but they, the children are gonna get that through the other sports that they're playing. Gymnastics is 
teaching them the competence, the competence, the, the sequencing, basic fundamental movements that they can then take away and use in so many different sports. How being able to understand how your body works and copying someone else to be able to get your body to do that, you understand your body so well. So then if you are taking it into other sports, it just makes life so much easier. So I think as a fundamental sport, gymnastics is key for all young children. I think if you ask anyone, things can always be done better. So definitely there's more that can be done with gymnastics. Um, and I think it's it's having the confidence to be able to do it. Um, I think a lot of schools maybe shy away from it because their staff aren't confident in teaching gymnastics or they, they haven't got the progressions. They've, they've maybe only had, I don't know, a, an hour or so training on it and then they're expected to be able to teach a whole term's worth of gymnastics. And of course that's gonna be daunting for them, but if they are given the skills and the progression to give the teachers the confidence, then the kids will love it. They'll learn so much from it. And like I said before, it's there's so many different things you can learn from gymnastics obviously that perseverance the resilience because it's not easy to just learn all of the skills it does take repetition it does take time so you're building up those skills that children um can can rely on later in life as well the friendship working in teams doing the partnership work and um, the, this I, I could talk about it all day but there's so many things that you can learn in a gymnastics lesson and then I don't know adding a dance into it so you're then incorporating other sports so you get the skills that they know you you set them a, a challenge of you've got your five skills go and put it together in a routine here's a piece of music and the beauty of our sport is you give the same instruction to a whole class of 30 you will get a different output every single time and I I just love that about our sport. <laughs> The advice I'd give to any young gymnast or just any young person is find something that you enjoy. Um, if you enjoy it, you're likely to give 100% to it. And do you know what? Take a friend along. It's so much nicer being able to enjoy things with your friends. And do you know what? If you can't take your friend along, you will make friends when you get there. Um, gymnastics for me is it's about that social element, about the fun. Um, especially given the past 18 months that these children have been through being off school, being in school, self-isolating, the, the, they've been through so many ups and downs and to have that consistency of going to a gymnastics class or going to any sports class, I just think there's, there's so many benefits other than just the sport that they're learning. After the Olympics in 2012, I obviously got to try out ice skating and I actually found that I really enjoyed it, especially I'd always done the sport. Yes, you were part of a team, but ultimately it was a very individual sport. And suddenly I was doing things in pairs, in groups, and it, it was amazing to be a part of that. So um, I don't think I could have been very successful in uh, ice skating, but I would definitely love to have been exposed to that when I was younger. That's always a good question of what is next for me in Battle of Gymnastics. We are currently in the process of opening our second site and we are hoping to have that open and witness at the end of August. Um, so that is really exciting. We had our first one during the pandemic in Bolton and it has been so successful seeing so many children with smiles on the faces. So ultimately, I just want to open more sites to be able to give more children the opportunity to have a go in in school, uh, in gymnastics. And ultimately, every time we open a site, we are working within the national curriculum program within schools in the area. And um, so that ultimately allows every child in that area to have access to gymnastics through schools lessons. So I think um, that is my biggest passion, just making sure children have got access to gymnastics. Man on fire. Do you know what I 
was really thinking about this and I don't think I have a biggest fear. Liverpool Football Club. Paula Radcliffe and Kelly Holmes. My daughter and the screensaver is me and my husband at our wedding. I don't really like music, but that sounds really awful, but I literally just listen to whatever's on um, the radio, but I do like Heart 90s, so a bit of cheesy pop. Oh, that is so difficult. I love all of the kind of medical police crime dramas. Uh, love Grey's Anatomy at the minute. Olympics. Lasagna. <laughs> Again, I'm not really someone, I, I'd find that really awkward sitting with someone that you've looked up to for dinner. I, I, I'd rather just have dinner with my family and friends. I know that's a real cop out, but. <laughs> Cloning myself. My family. Does it have to be one person? Definitely my family. My little baby girl. So when I was little, it was badgers. house I, I'm away so much that I actually just love spending time at home and not disappearing here there and everywhere and just being able to spend time with my family and friends so if people want to find out about better gymnastics whether it's for after school clubs or for national curriculum if you go to www.betterlgymnastics.co.uk you can email us, you can contact us on social media and um, we will get back to you.